delay or echo. It's a fantastic effect that can really help bring your tracks to life. So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to use it. Let's go. The first and simplest way to use delay is with the audio recorder because some of our presets have it built in. To use this, go to audio recorder and tap on more sounds. And under vocals, choose something like pop overdrive and you'll see that we have a delay plugin built in here that we can control right here on the front screen. And that actually links to our plugins and effects that we can access by tapping on the mixer icon and going to plugins and EQ. In this case, the stereo delay and tape delay line up with these ambient and delay dials. So we can turn them on and off over here and drive them up and down using these dials. We can, however, add a track echo plugin if we want delay on any track, whether it's an audio recorder, MIDI or drummer track. To do that, select the track and tap on the mixer icon in the top left. Now tap on plugins and EQ and hit the edit button. If you've got a free slot already, just hit the plus button and then choose from the effects here. We're gonna go with the track echo. Now, if you don't have a free slot when you hit the edit button, you may need to remove another effect to add it. To do that, just hit on the red minus sign and then hit delete. And now you can add your effect. The first option we have with track echo is the time. If we tap on this one, we have everything from a really fast delay, such as a 16th or 32nd note, right up to a really slow delay. Let's show you a really fast one to start with. You can hear that the delay is almost immediately after the original note. If you want a slower delay, like my favorite, the quarter note delay, select a quarter note and now, you get that really cool quarter note delay sound. The repeat option controls how many of those delay sounds we hear. If you go with a low repeat sound, you'll really only hear it once. Whereas if you dial this one up to a high repeat sound, you're gonna hear a lot. Color controls the tone of your delay. Everything from a very dark tone down here to a very bright tone up here. And you can hear you get more of the string noise with the brighter tone. So for this, I'd probably go a lower tone. Finally, we have dry and wet, and these work just like our reverb and other plugins do. We can control how much of the original sound and how much of the affected sound we have in here. Usually you'll go around about sort of 80, 20, but you can adjust that however you like. If you wanna hear just what the effect is doing, turn the wet up to 100% and the dry to zero, and you'll just hear the delay. Bring that back to a more balanced sort of 80-20 rule and we'll hear this kind of sound. There's one more place we can add delay or echo to our tracks and that's back here in the master effects. To select this, tap on master effects and tap on echo. And here we can set this to whatever type we want. So we wanted a dark eighth note echo. And the good thing about this is that we can use this to add a little echo to this and all the other tracks in our project to make them all sound like they're in a very similar space. With this one turned up, our guitar now has a double echo and sounds like this. And you can get some very unique sounds by doubling up on your track echo and your master echo. There you have it, echo, delay, whatever you call it. It's a really cool effect and can really help you dial in some amazing sounds for your projects. I hope you found this one useful. More videos down in the description and I'll see you next time.